Welcome back everybody to the Neon Kitchen episode 18. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. We're here at the beautiful Neon Exchange. We have Tony Bold behind the camera. Hello everybody. So rocking and rolling all the time. Tony rocks it. Thank you, Tony. Today we're gonna to be doing a garlic pepper steak sandwich. We're gonna to try to make it like the garlic festival, you guys. It's the second time we've done this on this show. Uh, we, we haven't perfected it because those guys at the garlic festival do an amazing job, but we're gonna try it tonight. We're gonna to rock and roll tonight. We do have two guests today. We're gonna to have from Digital Nest out of what are you the Watsonville? They're, so they'll give you the history of it a little bit yeah. more. We have Joe Gonzalez and Jason Franks. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. What's up, you guys? Hey, how you doing? Good to be here. Yeah. Repping Digital Nest. Repping Digital Nest. We have one local Gilroy guy right yeah. over here. Right yeah. home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's Digital Nest all about? So Digital Nest is a nonprofit. We're youth youth focused, uh -huh. uh, career development focused. Really, it's a, it's open space for students to come, share our, our co-working space for free, yeah, and yeah. also receive training and classes uh, to get themselves entry level job in the tech industry. So Ooh, nice. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. You guys, I'm telling you. And jo Joe and Jason, what are your guys' uh, positions at Digital Nest? Sure. Um, so just recently promoted, but I'm the <laughs> I'm a director of a program of program operations. Nice. So I, I, I serve, I, I support Jason's work and the other two sites that we have currently. Nice. And I'll be this, the senior manager for the Gilroy Center. Nice, yeah. nice, you guys. They are man on the street, like man in town. Yeah. Man. Definitely. When I first met these guys and what they were doing, I was like, we we got to get involved. I know. <laughs> we got to get involved in this because I believe in what you're going to do. It, so that's why we're here, guys. Rock and roll. Let's get ready to cook. Let's do it. Let's right. talk about Let's what we're going to do today, you guys. Right. I know you guys have been in a garlic festival. I know you have. You've been yeah. there? A couple times. A couple, couple times. times already. Uh, I'm and a newbie. You know, we have the, the garlic pepper steak, big seller. Huge. You know, they're delicious. I like them. They're all moist. They yes. Can. Just, oh, forget about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, so we got our onions here. We put some parsley, different colored bell pepper. I got some of the little ones, you guys. Perfect. And we got some beef broth. A lot of people ask, why beef broth? You'll see later on. Uh, we got some Gilroy garlic here, olive oil, salt and pepper mixed. I always mix it up here, you guys. And we got our wonderful French bread here. Mm. Uh, we're going to get started, you guys. We're going to, I have my oven on at 350. Okay. And we have the oven on to heat up our bread. Okay. We like warm bread. Nice. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Yeah. A little toasty, oh, yeah. you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. 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 And then we have this guy. Ooh. Cast iron. Pick that sucker up right there. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. What's that, 30 inch? I'm telling you, it's a big one right there. Mm, this is what we always eat here. We do damage. We're going to get it hot. Mm. Super hot. Okay. Right there. Yeah, it's a workout, bro, yeah. right there. It takes about a minute to get hot. I know it's really cold. We have our, uh, we use a tri-tip. I did get not peeled and sliced me a tri-tip, so that's what we have here. Okay. So we can get that cooking really, really quick, you guys. It'll be a quick sear. Thanks, Jason. There we go. Sue Chef. He's hired. He's hired. He's on. Look at that. Nice, nice marbling. I'm telling you. And as you, as you know, the tri-tips are a lot leaner than like your briskets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So they're going to have a little bit of marbling, not too much. Let's do a little salt and pepper, a little higher. Why are we do it high, Tony? Why do we do it high? So that we don't concentrate it in yeah, little there. clumps, but then we Tony spread knows. it. Hey, I learned from you. There we go, there we go. Shout out to uh, Nob Hill, Gilroy Original. Yeah, yeah, for real. I remember when it was on Westwood. Yeah, the old yeah. one. Remember that Westwood, one? Yeah. <laughs> I had to go to the pharmacy and go get the little candy. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And as we get this nice and hot, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna bring this right over here. Let's add a little bit of olive oil here. I always keep my olive oil just right here, just as traveling. About how much did you? Uh, we're looking about a about a tablespoon. Okay. Just to wet the whistle. You won't need too much because you still want that nice crunch. Exactly, of exactly. Of we're not looking yeah. to uh, deep fry it. We're just doing a quick sear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is warming up, you guys. Tell us what's up. What's up? Where are you guys coming from? Uh, words. We're digital nest. We're, the origins yeah. of Digital yeah. Nest. Sure you want to give them the origins? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'll do my best, right? Okay. Our, our, our founder, Your boss is looking. Yeah, right? Our, our founder and CEO, Jacob uh, Martinez. He, Jacob, he, shout out to Jacob. 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 Jacob Martinez. So, yeah, so started back in 2014. And it started back in Watsonville. You know, as Jacob it, it, it says said many times, it started with him walking down the street, saw a young lady out front still in his Wi-Fi signal. And it was like October, it was cold. It was, it, was, it, was, it was tremendously cold. And he walks up to her and asks, well, why are you out here? And of course, she's like, well, I'm studying for a, a, a paper for school. And I'm trying to get to the Wi-Fi. He's like, well, no, why are you out here? And she's like, oh, because I can't afford being in like Starbucks or somewhere else. So that got him to think about, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so was, exactly. So he was, he was trying to find a way to like move the needle in the work he'd been doing. 
with, with STEM and with getting students up to the Bay Area to go to uh, tech firms and, and, and trying to bring that, that magic back, but the needle just wasn't moving enough. So we thought about trying to create some type of open like workspace for, for students, use the signal, be a safe space, have food to eat, um, and, 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 and stay warm. What a visionary. And, yeah. What a visionary. And, and, and the biggest thing is like, part of it was just to remove all obstacles of, of price, of cost, right? So they could come in, use their, use the Wi-Fi signal, get tech, like, like top line, connect tech, your MacBooks, yeah. 3D printers that they needed, um, VR goggles, whatever it was to like, get them in the space and make them feel, feel like valued. That's mm -hmm. the biggest part, right? Because what he saw when he would go to these campuses for tech, the, the people there that own these campuses, the cost was not, not, not a concern. The value was the deepest part of what they, what they did for the employees that made them want to stay, uh -huh. make them want to innovate and be creative. So he thought that was a big part of what he wanted to bring to like the students in the underserved community, like such as Watsonville, yeah. is for them to walk in, have that wow mo moment when you walk in and not realize you're still in Watsonville, or at this point in Salinas as well, and, and see that they're valued and that like price is no option. And they just get to get to work, and and the, the thing that I kind of help with in that same kind of like vein is creating different spaces, variety of spaces where, where youth can get together and like share, collaborate, um, innovate, and, and just 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 come together and hang out if needed, and have like like mindedness yeah. and, and and that symmetry of just trying to like light the world on fire. Yeah. yeah, that's so, beautiful. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so seven, place they can call their own, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Seven, seven years later, we went from Watsonville, one site, to now Salinas. We're downtown Salinas, and the big grand plan is that open six more sites in the next three years. Oh, wow. So just, just a massive amount of exponential growth very quickly mm -hmm. for a young nonprofit. That's never been done, or it's not been done very often yeah. at the scale and the rate and the success that we've seen so yeah. far. So. And to have you guys, because I've been in, in social service and, and social justice and with the courts and stuff, to have you guys concentrate your commitment and back it up to our youth. You know, I get it. Like, I came from criminal justice. We were focusing on reentry and stuff like that. But he backed it up on our youth, even more so the youth who are not yet, perhaps, you know, you get the, the, the youth in the system, but also the youth that are just the general community youth. You are investing in the rawness, like the seed, like the absolute beginning. Yeah. And how could it get any better than that? Mm -hmm. That's amazing, that's amazing. You know, I mean, and Jason gets tested as well. I mean, it, it, it's it's fulfilling, it's, it's worthwhile, and and, and we, we're, we're trying to do it to the point where we try to find the underserved community, such mm -hmm. as Washington, Salinas, because even on our, our, our site, and when I was researching trying to find this as my job, my next kind of thing, mm -hmm. leaving like other nonprofits and retail was about, it was on their website, just like clear as day, it, it kind of a quote to the point where it was, it stated, uh, talent is, is, is dispersed equally everywhere, but yet opportunity to that, to, to, to access that, like, skills to get to the next level is not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a right? product of that. Right. And you yeah. see this great divide here in Gilroy. We're 30 minutes away from the heart of Silicon Valley. Yet how many of our youth actually end up participating in the opportunity provided by Silicon Valley? Yep. Very little. So that's the overarching mission is to connect these surrounding rural communities into those opportunities offered by the Silicon Valley. Yep. Right here in the valley. And here we are. And then change the face in the game, right? Change yeah. the complexion of what Silicon Valley looks like. Literally. We want yeah. people to look like Every, everybody else. Well, that's like, so true because right? I worked in Silicon Valley and the diversity was needed. Yeah. Definitely yeah. needed. Yeah. And when we get these kids that are grown here, good job, suddenly they're helping their families. And this housing crisis where you're paying through the nose to live in Gilroy with rent yeah. or, or can't, can't even buy a house, mm -hmm. like these kids are getting good jobs who are turning around and we're the same ones who support our families. Yeah. 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 And I'm excited, I mean, just for the simple fact of youth having a place to go in Gilroy. I grew up here, I grew up here throughout the 1980s. We had a skating rink, we had two movie theaters, we had an arcade, we had a comic book shop, we have one now again, thank you, a Caldwell Comics. We had places for youth to go, right? We don't have that anymore, very, very little. And yet our community is wondering, you know, why is our youth doing this? Why are they doing that? Why are they congregating here? Where else do they have to go? So Digital NS is hoping to at least provide that opportunity, open our doors to the youth in our co-working space, 
and then offer them the pathway of education and therefore the pathway into these careers to Silicon Valley. So investing in them both socially, economically, and educationally. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. We love it. I'm telling you. If I had a big check, quick. you'd have it by now. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. A quick sear, you guys. A quick sear. Smell a vision. Smell a vision. You know, I do a quick sear probably less than a minute on each side. And that means we'll continue to cook yeah, right Exactly. Hey, this guy's a chef over here. He knows the radio. <laughs> You guys, you guys know food, huh? Yeah. You guys know oh, food. <laughs> I really you heard him carry over cooking. It's still cooking right now, you guys. We're going to let it sit right here. So what we're going to do now is put this on low. It's still hot. We're going to leave it hot. I'm going to get my vegetables ready. We're going to saute them. And we're going to put it all together. And we're going to hear more about Digital Nest. We'll be right here we go, you guys. Back over here with Digital Nest. we got Jason and Joe. JJ. That's, That's a new name for you guys, JJ. JJ. <laughs> we got our meat right here, you guys. Quick sear. It's still cooking a little bit. Very tender. I have some onions, bell peppers. We have some parsley here. I have the Gilroy garlic. What I did is add some olive oil in here to heat it up a little bit. We're going to deglaze all this flavor. Olive oil in there, you heat it up. We have it on medium now. So all that residual that's in there. Yeah, we're going to leave it all in there. We're going to add this. All the way, everything in there. Gotcha. Mark, I love that you got the smaller peppers. They tend to be a little sweeter. Yes. The longer you cook it, the sweeter it's going to get. I love that sweet. You have to have them sweet, bro. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So we'll do the onion. I'll show you guys how to do the onion real quick. This is a cutting technique. And we always have a little bowl here to throw your garbage in. One rule. Always remember. A messy workspace is a messy mind. Thank you. Mm. Well, that means on top, right? So it's everything in its place. You have to. We'll just are you looking for a little slice? You could do it that way, or you could do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. So you kind of want, for your sandwich, you want like half rounds? Like half moons? Yeah, rounds. half moons. Just a little okay. julienne there. Mm. Here we go. And uh, you're right, Mark. I did. I grew up in kitchens. Shout out to my mom, Barbara Franks, who for about 10 years, from 1982 to 1992, <laughs> owned Barbara's Bake Shop right down the street. We're right, no way. right next to Hall's Western Wear. So uh, I've got a lot of history down here. Yeah. I grew up, literally grew up on Gourmet Alley, running around as a young kid, going to the Happy Stop Sandwich Place, which is now Odie's, going That's to Gourmet Hardware, yeah. hanging out down here downtown. Wow. Western Auto. Yeah, Western wow. Auto. Go get the sodas in the back. <laughs> back when Victoria was yeah. right down here too. Yeah. California music. music. California music. Uh, see, I feel honored. I'm, I'm amongst like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. Just like this. Look at this. That's what we're looking for. Oh, so, let me see. That's what we're looking for. Like that. You don't want them too small. You don't want them too big. This is perfect. Okay. I'm gonna continue cutting these. Well, we want to know we, the audience. I bet you they want to know a little more about digital mess. What do you guys? What do you guys do? What, what do you guys offer? And what's going on there? So, in addition to the co-working space, which is really the hook, right, to get youth inside the door feeling comfortable having a place of their own. Mm -hmm. We like to graduate them to one of our three CFAs. So CFA meaning career focus area. We offer three different ones. Again, there's no paywall. These classes are free. Mm -hmm. Our first one is our WIT program, which stands for Web and Information Technology. In that pathway, youth will learn about web design and anything IT related, including coding, app design, all that good stuff, right? <laughs> when you think of Silicon Valley, WIT is really what you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secondly, the program that's near and dear to my heart and near and dear to any creative is our DAP program, which stands for our Digital Arts and Technology. Mm -hmm. So if you're creative, you're into filmmaking, graphic design, logo design, animation. Um, I'm a music producer, so I'll be Gilroy, bringing that to Gilroy. Um, that's your career focus area. What used to be a hobby is now a legitimate career. Yeah. Anything you look at, it's all about aesthetics and, and the, the framing around it, right? Yeah. The uh, logo splashes at the bottom of the screen, the background music in your commercials, your movie trailers, your trailer breaks, mm -hmm. your stingers, all that stuff for high paying jobs. And then lastly is our people program, PPL, People, Projects and Leadership. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody that wants to get into a leadership role, whether that's project management at the corporate level or community engagement down at the nonprofit level mm -hmm. and everywhere in between the people programs for you. That's a skill set. Does it have to be tech oriented? That's a program for all you, right? Yeah. And that's gonna that's gonna run with you no matter what you do. Um, after completing one to two years on one of our CFAs, you can now apply for our business program. I'll let Joe explain that. Sure, so we call business like a graduate school. That means that our students or our members have went at least a year, year and a half through all of the different rigors of trying to learn their, and, and craft their trade. Mm -hmm. So we take the best of the best, we get them into this business, which 
it allows members to now work the portfolio in a larger way, more of in a real business kind of focused area where they now uh, bid out their, their projects, or they dig bids for projects, they um, run, write quotes up, they think it like they, they scale and they project manage. So even the people part, project management, if they're talking about doing a marketing uh, plan, they put that together for real clients that are uh, nonprofits that are small business owners, mm -hmm. and we do this for, for nominal to, to almost pro bono um, rate. So wow. you get great work, you get work done by students that are trying to like learn and, and improve their craft, and and help them set them up for the future. But a, a big part of that is it's a paid internship program. Mm -hmm. um, so they get paid the entire time. They're considered a full fledged staff intern, um, and they get mentored by uh, our industry leading um, you know staff that are there that guide them every step of the way. Mm -hmm and allow them to kind of work and feel the struggle and the pressure of delivering the deliverables, right, the goods on time, um, and come up with a really positive experience and help them understand what it takes to be in our, the other side of the, the desk, right, the, the real world, being in that job and in that industry. So it gives them a great opportunity. Um, with that, at the end of that year so that they're in business, mm -hmm. they have a few options. You know, one is to go off to a four-year university and have their portfolio to, to stand up alongside you. Um, wow. Another way is to be able to do, um, get caught on with like an actual client you may have just worked for mm -hmm. and, and be into like a career track job and really set your set your, your foundation and just grow that you've already worked and then showed some of your stuff with the client and now you're ready to expand and fly the nest. And the third way, again, we always try to make sure that college isn't always for everyone. So we also look at maybe you're going to freelance, maybe you're going to do your own side hustle, pass your project, it's going to be a, a living that you're going to be able to do and, and be able to go home and tell your parents, I found a job that's going to actually pay me and it's like fun and I love it. That's the best thing ever. I mean, and at the end of the day, it's really to make sure that that our, our members, their life improves, their family's life improves, they see that, that, that future very bright. And then at times we want people to stay here as well in the community they were raised up in, that they train, that they create their network and that social capital and stay and improve their like the, the community itself. Mm -hmm. So they, they are now the, the whole community is improving. Or take the time to go out to Zidane Valley and make big things happen there as well. So, 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 to, so to root that back here, um, some of the projects the business has already done, promo video for oh, Ornelli oh. Cider oh, out there in Watsonville. Yeah. Um, they're currently on their second yeah. project with UC Santa Cruz. Yeah. They're redesigning their website. Yeah. That's my alma mater. There's a huge website. Oh. We're working on getting that more streamlined. But to bring it all the way back to Gilroy, they're already working with Latino Family Fund of Gilroy. Uh, Jack Lemuro, congratulations, the new executive director over there. Uh, we've already tied in, they've gotten their bid, and they're redesigning their website as well. So even as we're trying to find a space here in Gilroy, business is already working with the Gilroy community. We'd love to see that. Nice. That's awesome. We're going to be here for a okay. second. I want to show you guys this. So we started deglazing, deglazing, and you added a little bit, we added olive oil, we're using all the, we cooked the steak on here, so we're using some of that flavor from there. We did all the bell peppers and onions, salt and pepper, that's all we have in here right now. Okay. We're going to break it down a little bit, cook it down as we go. Look at this, Jakey, come here, I know you guys, come here, look at this. The caramelization on the onions. Oh my god. You want to give me the garlic? All the color from the meat. We're going to add all that garlic. Oh, yeah. We're not gonna do, we're not gonna. Hot tip guys, when you're using garlic, you see Mark's putting it in last year, that's how you wanna do it. Put that garlic in too early, it gets burnt, it turns bitter. Exactly. You don't have to cook garlic that long. If you're from Gilroy, you should know that. Exactly, exactly. Wow. Good point there, thank you. Yeah, it's instant flavor. Huh? I said, you know this. Man. Yeah, you guys you know, are, you guys are, are undercover foodies. Uh -huh. You guys are. I love to cook. So we're gonna we're gonna get a little quick cleanup. We're gonna let this cook down. We'll be right back. Here we go, you guys. We have the peppers, the onions, and garlic cooking down. We have a couple of things we're gonna add to that. We're gonna add the parsley, uh, curly leaf. Par I like the curly leaf better. It gives a little bit of um, okay. a little bit of beef broth just to keep that juice flowing in there. We're gonna cut this into thirds. Add it, mix it all together. But first, we gotta toast this wonderful bread, you guys. Right. Let's get this going. Cut that edge off. Don't throw it away. People love that. It's all about the bread. One yeah. year they changed the bread at the garlic. No. Bread. People were not happy. People were not happy. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit of a You're right. If you've been to the festival, part of the magic is the bread sits in that plastic bag oh. and gets a little bit moist. Yeah, that's oh, the best. Yeah. That's you know what else is good bread? The garlic bread at the St. Mary's Spaghetti Dinner. Ooh, that's coming up, good. yeah. May 6th. So for you guys who want to show I'll up. I'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> selling tickets. Be there yeah. or be square. <laughs> all right. And all we're going to do with this is just toast it a little bit. You guys ready to love it? Feel free to add butter to it if you like. Anything you want. 
Get a little toasty. As we do that, we get a little steam up here. Toast your bread too is gonna hold up to the juices a lot. Oh, yeah, well, forget yeah. it. Then. Yeah. Is that some of this parsley? Oh, that crunch. Don't add that much. There we go. Nice. Beautiful with the parsley. Too. Yeah, just a rough chop. Nothing, chop, nothing crazy. So while he's chopping that, can you guys speak to uh, sort of the things that you have um, coming up and how do we follow or contact or connect to get access? All right, so happening right now, actually right down the street at the Greenhouse Co-working Center, mm -hmm. um, I'm actually doing a series of Friday night pop-ups. So even though we don't have our own space in Gilroy, Digital Mess is still getting right to work in Gilroy. Nice. Uh, so every other Friday, we're doing a retro gaming night. So students can come down and we've been gaming. We've been playing on the Pandora's box, old school Street Fighter games. I was in there, I saw their setup, beautiful setup, yeah. great. Yeah, that's right. Um, so students come down for the first hour from about six to seven on Friday mm -hmm. nights. It's free play. And then from seven to eight, we do a little tournament action. So we get all the students involved in a little tournament tree and the last person standing wins inside the game. <laughs> so they get a little gift card from a local business here. And then on the off Fridays, those other Fridays, we're doing a music production series that's called Friday Night Beats, which used to happen down there at CMAP, and I brought it back. Myself, I come from a musical family, I've been producing music for 25 years, and when I was doing it, nobody was there to teach me, so it's something I love passing on to the youth. So every other Friday, yeah. we've been doing the music production night. We are uh, just finished our second class, so students already have a rhythm section, they have bass lines, and now they're adding oh uh, melody and chord to their music. Mm -hmm. So it's coming together. And I'm going to be taking new registrants for that all the way up until the next class. So not this Friday, but the following Friday will be our last class um, for new students to arrive. The gaming nights are open enrollment all the way until the end. So that's going to end May 20th. Our music production night will end June 3rd. Uh, students that graduate out of that class will all have their own two and a half to three minute original composition of music they can take with them. That's amazing. Um, Isn't that amazing? And again, that's all free. If you want to get in touch with me and enroll, enroll in that, and you can contact me, Jason, at DigitalNest.com, okay. or you can find us on Instagram, at DigitalNest, um, or you can actually enroll right on our website, DigitalNest.com. Just go to the class page, and you can sign up right there. Um, also, we have a, a wonderful youth conference coming up. Joe's going to tell you a little bit about that. Right. Yeah, so our youth conference is called Nest Flight. It's, it's, it's kind of our, our big signature event that happens once a year. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's an invitation for all of our members, main, and of course, a lot of our members that are in the 18 and about 24, because mm -hmm. part of it's like a job networking opportunity. So you get a chance to share ideas, get in panel discussions with, with mentors that, that could be assigned to them as well. So part of the, the, the great thing about joining Nest Flight and being a participant, you also get assigned a mentor that's in the industry and in the sector that you're, you're, you're currently studying. So you have a pro or an insider that actually helps create your social equity. And now you've got someone mm -hmm. there with you to try to share ideas. I was ideas. a volunteer mentor last year. Okay. <laughs> Virtually. So, so, yeah, so you know, you, you're a first-hand you know, person here with us. So it's a great opportunity. It's a series of two days. And, and again, we have great speakers and panelists. Our keynote speaker this year we're really excited to share is, um, is Michael Tubbs. This is Michael Tubbs. Yeah. Um, he's the former mayor of Stockton. Um, he's youngest, now kind of right? a big African American youngest. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, he is. Um, you know, uh, wrote a book. Kind of a big thing these days with celebrity. So we're so thrilled to have him as part of our okay. event. Awesome. Yeah. So it, it, we're doing major things with that and, and getting our our mentors lined up. Um, we got mentors from I believe Google, from Adobe, from uh, the Bay, close in close the Monterey Peninsula. Um, we got someone from the aquarium coming out. So again, these mentors are here for that event and then they'll stick with our members throughout, at least the next year and then beyond. Because with mentorship, we always know, it, it, you create friendships, you create bonds, and then you become that confidant in like years to come and helping like shape someone's like livelihood and, and in their career path. So yeah. it, it's just a great melding of all the different things we do yeah. and highlighting the great work that we have yeah. and, 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 and really trying to like, again, change the complexion of, of what what people believe the industry and the tech world is about and trying to create more just level thinking and get everybody on the same page. So it's a great, great chance to get everybody together. This year it's virtual, it is free, and you can also sign up through the same handle as Jason just mentioned. Yeah, okay. digitalness.com. This is a legitimate conference. I, one thing that really attracted me to Digital Nest, which I just joined in September, is everything they do is legitimate. We treat youth like professionals the moment they walk in our door and long past when they leave. In fact, a lot of our former students are part of our executive team already. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's it's pretty awesome. In yeah. fact, Joe and I are probably 
some of the oldest employees at Digital Red. Right? Exactly. I hate to say it, but um, this is a legitimate conference. If your youth attend, I guarantee they're going to get something out of this. That's so amazing. I, I really it's amazing you, work so. you guys are doing, man. Yeah. I mean, the whole Digital Red as a whole is rocking it. I agree. Okay, we can't I wait agree. for you guys to be in Gilroy. I'm excited. Come here, that, guys, check this out. Bring it over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's Look at love that. right there. That's a part of your mouth. Look at that, you guys. Nice and you guys almost ready to eat or what? Yeah. 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 Yes. Good call on the broth. I'm telling good you. Good call on the broth. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I would not have thought of that. That's a good call. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the... They walk in the kitchen, they go, it's all pink. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Let's take a look at this. There we go, you guys. Bring it close real quick. As you can see, we have our wonderful steak right here. We have our bell peppers, onions, garlic, parsley, a little bit of uh, beef broth, and a lot of love here, you guys. It smells incredible. We're going to finish up right here. We're going to start getting plated, and we'll be right back. So here we go, you guys. We have our French bread that we took out of the oven, nice and crispy. We have our wonderful mix of the bell peppers, onions. We have garlic, parsley, wonderful tender meat. Then we have chicken broth, and what we want to do is just get a little wet, you guys. Yeah. Don't be shy with this. Wet it. Get a little wet. Don't be shy with it. Look at that. Joe's getting. Joe's not from Gilroy, so he don't know nothing about this. But we're gonna. Right. We're gonna. We're gonna uh, break him in today. Right. We're gonna break him in. That's right. Look at this. Again. Look at this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh yeah. We got our infrared right now, man. What do you think, Tony's looking good? Oh yeah, my mouth is watering. So. <laughs> There's one. This will probably be the. Uh, well, simplest plating we've done on uh, the Neon Kitchen, but the food speaks for itself yes, here. Yes, it does. I think a lot of people want to know the difference between different color bell peppers. I don't find one. It's just nice to have the color. Yeah, in the, the contrast, the yeah. different colors, instead of just all green. Yeah. So again, being like very new, never had one of these sandwiches before, is it cheese or no cheese? No, no cheese. cheese. No, no cheese. that's a cheese steak. That's like mm. a cheese steak, or like all Jersey, right. or uh, right. Philly. Yeah. I'm like a cheese, I'm a cheese enhancer. I try to cheese. Look at that, that close yeah. Bring it in, look at that, you guys. Look at that, mix. Right, here we go. We're JJ, we got uh, Joe and Jason, you guys. Mm -hmm. Gonna try out the garlic pepper steak sandwich. Your first one, you, you <laughs> probably ate about like 2,000 yeah. more. Yeah, <laughs> last count, last count. So hopefully they give it a thumbs up, you guys. And check it out, go for digging, guys, right. digging. Right. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't, don't be, be shy. Don't be Gotta shy. get those elbows out. There you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Thumbs up? Forget about it? Mm -hmm. Forget about it. We got to forget about it, guys. Mm -hmm. the Lo hold on, we the got the local Gilroy guy. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> <I got it. laughs> 